Hello again everyone, it's Steve, Santa Steve, getting back at you. Uh, this is day two of uh, the Merry Guitar Tips series, and uh, there's a problem. The problem is that <laughs> when I get students and I start saying things like, we've got to practice this scale, we've got to do this exercise, their faces drop. It's like, Ugh. That's not why I'm here, Steve. I just want to play songs. I get it. We all want to do that, but you also need the technical ability to do songs. And as many of you know, one of the ways that I'm sort of getting around that is offering the guitar gym every Saturday from 11 till noon. But I'm off for the holidays. I'll let you know when it's back on. <clears throat> So I'm here to say that one of the things that I want to leave you with as a good tip is when you are learning scales, don't just play them as an exercise. They are meant to be used musically. You're supposed to take the scale and do something with it. Now, there's a problem. <clears throat> and the problem is that people don't make music with their scales. This is what we need to do. This is what brings the scale alive. So that's what I want to do today. Give you some ideas on how to make that happen and banish the whole idea forever that scales are boring and drab. And they're only boring because we do it. It's us. It's not the scale. So let's get at this. I'll give you a couple of things to think about. So let's talk about uh, a good tip regarding the use of a scale. Pretty straightforward. Let's pretend that you've just learned this scale. It's another minor pentatonic, just like in tip one, the A minor. This is going to be E minor pentatonic. Let's just pretend you've just been showing it, and we're just going to play it here in open position. No big deal. So we've got... Let's just pretend you've got that, okay, that you've practiced it and you're okay with it. Then the student gets stuck. This is where the, the weird stuff starts to happen. I'll say, go and make something up with that. And then the eyes glaze over, the jaw drops. They don't know what to do. So here's a tip. You don't need to use all the notes of the scale when you're creating music. A lot of people feel they need to do that, <clears throat> maybe to impress their teacher or something. Not at all. What you want to do is grab a handful of them, a few of them, and then just play something repeatable. Make something up that sounds good to your ear and then repeat it in a reasonably musical way. So for example, perhaps I'm sitting here with my <clears throat> E minor pentatonic, and don't worry, it'll be up on the, uh, on the site as well, so you'll be able to reference it. Um, Let's say, here's the whole scale, I don't want to use the whole scale. Let's say, I j <clears throat> excuse me, I just use this part. It's just two strings and four notes. I mean, they're repeating a bit, but it's just four notes in there. One, two, three, four, and then it's just back again. So check it out. Two, three, four. then the scale is coming more alive. So you don't let it stay there. <clears throat> Make it come alive. If you like what you play, and you're, you're okay with the rhythm, go ahead and play the same rhythm, but on a different set of notes from the same scale. First time I played for you, I was just using the top two strings, string one and string two. Now I'm going to use string three and string four, but listen to it. Different notes, more or less, same rhythm. Very cool thing to do. Listen to it on the <clears throat> next.
next set of strings. I'm just choosing these randomly. You can do this anywhere within the scale. example now. Well, this applied. I like to put it into um, context here, so check this out. <clears throat> Any music going on in the background? I'm just making this up. to get something repeatable. Do it somewhere else. Go back and forth, why not? Now I'm going to go down low. Get comfortable starting to make music right away as soon as you learn a scale. This is the key. The scale is not the problem. Don't roll your eyes at the scale. The scale is a bunch of bricks. You need to be able to build with those bricks if you're going to make a wall. <laughs> Think of the scale as the studs of your house. You need to be able to build the framing in order to put the rest of the house up. Think of a scale as the skills you need to become the fine surgeon that you're going to be. You need those skills in order to be a surgeon. You need the scales in order to get the language of music more securely built into your mind and into your fingers especially. So don't roll your eyes at the scale. It's our attitude toward it. We can make them very fun. We need to be making music with them right away and not just exercises. See you at tip three from Santa Steve. Cheers.